hey y'all welcome back to my channel thank you for stopping by so today we're going to be doing a reinstall video on a old frontal bonding this is going to be her second time installing this frontal bonding so i'm going to do my cap method a little bit different this is how i used to do it when i first first started doing wigs back in orlando so you just so we're going to just take the ghost bond and put it around the hairline. I hope it was that funny, whatever we was laughing at. And you put it around the hairline and I just press it down, then I blow dry it. Now this method is way quicker than doing the got to be spray and you know putting them under the dryer because that alone takes about a good 15 to 20 minutes, excluding the dryer. So yeah, all I have to do is put down the, the ghost bond around the hairline blow dry it down apply my foundation or my cream contour and i i cut off the excess cap and we go from there now i'm taking my scissors and i'm cutting around the hair the hairline and with this method right you know how sometimes when we cut back on the cap there's so much extra like little extra white pieces that you got to double back in trim or whatever with this method you don't have to do all of that it's very 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 minimal excess stock cap right and that's why sometimes we use the pantyhose because it's way thinner than the regular stocking cap but whatever and i know y'all noticed she got holes in her stocking cap in the black cap that's because like i told y'all this is a reinstall of an old bonding and the hair store next door was closed and we didn't feel like going nowhere i didn't have a cap so we just pulled the tracks off of that cap and we reused the cap all right so now we're gluing down the lace i mean not the lace but we're laying down the glue i put the glue all the way on the cap like i put it all on the cap because that's what makes the lace hold longer if your cap is kind of glued onto your lace. It lasts longer. And when I'm doing her hair, I'm going to give her four coats. So we're just going to wait for that glue to clear dry, to dry clear. And then we're going to apply the front two. Alright, so laying down the front two is basically like the same thing as if you were doing uh, a new install. Well, I guess it's a bit easier since it's already cut. And so I do it the same way. Lay down the middle, then go side by side. Yeah, I'm going to have her hold on that side, and I'm going to go on the other side and lay out the lace. You see how the middle kind of was like ridgy? Now that I'm going to the other side, I can pull it down and make sure that it's flat, flat. And don't worry, don't worry. We're going to fix it up, all that ashiness. We're going to get it right. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Don't worry about it. This, that's blah. Okay, so the lace is on. Now we're doing the baby hairs. I think my camera got a little dirty right here. Um, I'm using She Is Bomb of Goo. She Is Bomb of Goo. She Is Bomb Goo, of course. I'm talking so fast. She Is Bomb Goo, of course. So now we we already went ahead. Look at it. Look at that lace. Melted. Melted. Okay, so we've already went ahead and trimmed our first baby hair. As you can see, my baby hair is pretty short. And I know when I do my swoops, my swoops look long, but still, I cut my baby hair short. That way it looks more natural, right? And then I'm just taking it and I'm just forming forming a C. I'm probably like, why you got a mask and she don't have on a mask? This is my sister. I know she don't got corona, but I just already had on a mask because I came in the building. <laughs> Okay, so I prefer to use the She Is Bomb Goo because it dries really quickly and with it drying, it's like it's drying and melting at the same time. I was doing mm, 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 at the same time. Too. 
See, yeah, so you pulled out. Gosh, Jody, it's not that funny. Dang. <laughs> so, ooh, look at the baby. Look at the baby hair. Dry, melted, finito. It be me. I'm a perfectionist, so it's like, even if it looked good, I'm like, it could look a little better. Oh my gosh, she she ticking me. She was on the phone with her boyfriend, obviously. Doing all that laughing. Or was it me? <laughs> Period, boo. Period, boo. Same thing. So do you see, while I'm shaving down, cutting down the baby hairs, I'm kind of going at an angle. You feel me? And this already, I already see it's going to be too thick. So if you keep watching, you're going to see that I'm going to go back in with my tweezers and pluck some of this baby hair out because it's thick. It doesn't look natural. Well, I mean, it does look natural, but it doesn't match to the first one. You know I mean? Like, take some of that out. Mm -hmm. And just fix it up. Easy. Peasy. Let me squeezy. See? Beautiful. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. I know you guys don't need me to walk you through that. those baby hairs very very natural very soft not crunchy looking you feel me real nice now we're gonna repeat the same thing on the other side so we're pulling out C's like Crips no I'm, I'm just playing and pulling out the C's and now I'm using the butter stick wax stick to go ahead and push back her hair so I have enough room and I don't have extra hair in the way while I'm doing her baby hairs And if you can see on the left side, like where the baby hairs, I think that's the left side. If we, well, whatever. At certain angles, it little, it looks a little ashy. Keep watching. I'm gonna show y'all a trick at the end, so we're not seeing all that. So we're seeing the same color in every angle. No, I wanna know what we was talking about.
and the baby hairs are coming out a bit big because that's how she liked them and remember i told you all the little ashy parts that you see at certain angles i'm gonna show you how to tweak it that natural lovely baby hairs easy breezy beautiful baby hairs <laughs> Her baby hairs look fire. Er, er, er. I usually don't like doing this middle part baby hair because I just think naturally when we do our baby, when we have our real hair out, nobody puts a middle swoop there, like makes it a middle swoop. We worry about the size and we keep it going. But you know, some people like it like that. And I am here to please you. So if that's what you want, I'm going to give it to you. But the trick with the middle baby hair, what you want to do is you kind of want to go shorter as you go along. So when you swoop it, it doesn't look like a circle. If you get what I'm trying to say. Oh my gosh. Why did she do that? <laughs> I don't know what we were talking about. I don't want to know maybe. See what I mean when I say go shorter as you go so now when we swoop it it doesn't look like a circle something more realistic and this baby hair i do it way shorter than i do the um the side baby hairs All right, so there's about a minute left in this video. Just go ahead. I, I think I cut it already off camera. So now, um, yeah, just stay tuned and watch the rest. Thank you guys for watching my channel. I hope you guys love the video. And if you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up and like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you turn on your, look at that, look at that, fire. And make sure you turn on your post notifications. That way you don't miss a beat. Love you guys. Can't wait to see you again. Mwah. I did tell you guys that I was going to um, show you guys my little trick and how I tweak little ashy spots. So it's real easy. I just take like a little, um, I guess it'll be a powder brush. I think this is like an eyeshadow brush. Um, and I just take a powder, the same color tone as my client, and I just put it in into the spots where you can see just like where there's no baby hairs there. Just so it blends in well with the skin. And... That's all. Look, she feeling it. You feel me? And that's... Oh, I got to fix the bag. Don't worry about it. We fixed it all up. And that's all, folks. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.